I'm back at my math closet. And, um, no, we may have it. I found this. I know it's not student work. Actually, it's work that I did with a group of teachers on an after class, after school workshop. And it was about math. And when I first asked them, and I put this on chart paper, I wrote on the chart paper in this purple, in reading, we want children to, and I had them think by themselves, then talk with a partner, think, pair, share, and then share out. What are the things that are important to us about reading? They were really good natured about it because this is supposed to be an afternoon about math, and here I am talking about reading, which I know a lot less about than math. But nevertheless, we filled up this entire piece of chart paper. In reading, we want children to take risks, make meaning, have passion about reading, read a variety of different genres, read in a variety of settings, use it as a tool in life, on and on. They filled up this whole page, boom, 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 boom. So then I went back and I crossed out reading and I wrote math. I said, so, okay, so which of these things also reflect what we want for our students in math and how is it the same and how is that different? And we went through them because so we want children to take risks in math. That was easy. Yes, we do. Do we want them to make meaning? That was easy. Do we want them to have passion about math? <laughs> yes, we do. And then we came to this one. Do we want a read a variety of different genres? There's no verb. We don't math. So we changed. We want them children to do math in a variety. And we went through and thought about these things and used that as kind of a blanket litmus test for us to check out when we're planning lessons and engaging students in explorations, are we being true to these things that we think are important? I think it's valuable to think about starting from your strength, for, which is for many teachers reading, and then thinking about how math can relate to that. Thanks for listening.